Okay, so today I am going to do my December TBR game. There were a few decisions that needed to be made for the TBR game, so I put some posts on Twitter. One was for the name, and it has been decided that this game will be called The Role of Reads. For all the information on the rules and the gameplay, I will link my first video in the description below so you can go and watch that and get a better idea of how it all works together. One of the main things was that I was using a 20 sided dice and because I played Dungeons and Dragons, which is why I have a bunch of 20 sided dice, I decided to make some of the rules somewhat related to what happens when you use your d20s in combat in Dungeons and Dragons. So when you roll a one, you basically drop your sword, drop your weapon, have to spend time retrieving it, and all opponents have attacks of opportunity on you because you're distracted. So I incorporated that by making it that if I rolled a one, I had to do another roll and add an extra book. But if you roll a 20, then that's great, and you double your damage, and you could essentially kill an opponent with, within just the one roll if you have all of the other things that you would need. So that means for this game, I decided that I would make it so that if you, if I roll a 20, I could essentially do whatever I wanted with that roll, including completely scrapping it. So because of the Dungeons and Dragons references, a bunch of people suggested a bunch of different names that had something vaguely to do with D&D and rolling dice and Roll of Reads was the name that the majority of people liked. So that is the name of my TBR game, which I'm super excited about. So thank you all for suggesting things, for voting in the poll and everything. That was really cool. So that was the first thing that was undecided. The second thing that I hadn't figured out yet was what I was going to do or if in fact I was going to do punishments. I have decided that I will do punishments. So for every book that is on my TBR that comes up in the TBR game specifically that I don't read in that month, I have to add a punishment based on, again, a Twitter poll. Punishments for this month. It's actually midway through November. I've gotten a little bit excited and I am filming a little bit early. I'm going to have to try and remember to put it off until later in the month so that I have a more clear idea about punishments but I'm excited I want to film today so that's what I'm going to do. So as far as punishments go for December I actually don't think I will end up having any because I am reading predominantly middle grade this month. I have got two full middle grade books but they're very short left to read. They're like 150 pages or thereabouts each and then I have half of the one non-middle grade book that was in the TBR and I have about three quarters of another book which is middle grade and is a lot of it is cold in verse so I think that'll be quite quick and easy to read as well and I've got about just another two weeks left of the month so I think I'm probably going to be okay. Should I need to add the extra roll for punishment I will do so closer to when I'm going to upload it which will be at the very end of the month or very beginning of next month. So I should also just say that from the 5th to the 13th of December, I will be co-hosting the Hemisphere Christmas Games, which is a readathon that will be running between those dates. It is a competition readathon between the North and so Northern and Southern Hemispheres. For all the information about this readathon, I will link my announcement video in the description below and in the i. So if you want to know more about that or join in, please go and check that out. Also, you should go and check out all of my amazing co-hosts. There are seven of us. <laughs> I'm joined as a Southern Hemisphere host by Kat from Stars and Embers, Jenna from Just a Little Bit Random and Ellie from Earl Grey Books and the Northern Hemisphere hosts are Cara from Wild Book Garden, Joanne from Joanna Notations, Connor from Connor's Library Corner and Faye from Mystery Date with a Book. I will link all of their announcement videos in the description below. You should go and check them out and subscribe to their channels. They are all amazing. Anyway, I've decided that because I'm going to be running the readathon and I'm super excited about the readathon, I'm essentially going to take that whole 10 day period out of my TBR 
So the TBR that we're about to do won't be included in those 10 days and the TBR that, I'm not sure if I'm putting it up first or second, but the TBR for that readathon will have the books that are going to be read in those 10 days. Which means that I very well may end up having <laughs> quite a few punishments happening in January because depending on how the roles go and depending on how many books I end up having to read and how thick the books are that I decide to read plus the books that I am reading for the readathon I might have quite a few but anyway <laughs> I just thought I would let you know about that remind you it was happening and now let's crack on with the TBR game. Each game I will play five basic roles obviously if I roll ones I'll have to re-roll and we'll just see where we go. So let's do all the shuffles and putting the cards out and then we'll start the rolls. First things first, let's give them a shuffle. Made it a little tricky on myself because they laminated and an odd shape, but it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, just have to change the angle slightly. Okay, and now we place the cards. Right, so we'll pop the extra ones here so we can place them. And let's do roll number one focusing particularly well but it's a 17 which is this one here a standalone okay and roll number one got us a standalone so for this one I have decided to read The Confession by Jesse Burton I don't know much about this book um, I know that it is set with two different points of views in two different time periods which is a way of writing that I really enjoy so I'm anticipating really enjoy this, enjoying this one. I've actually had this on my physical TBR for over a year now so I've been meaning to get to it but obviously just haven't quite got there yet so I'm glad to have an excuse to read it now. Yeah so it's one of those sorts of books I believe where there's sort of a bit of a not mystery in the sense of like crime thriller mystery but like a bit of a secrets in a family mystery that gets solved later in the second time POV and but it is to do with the family line um, and you learn more about it as you read the two different points of view. I think that's what I understand anyway. But yeah it sounds really interesting and I also just think the cover is beautiful so if that's anything to go by, I think it'll be a great book. <laughs> All right, we'll put this back over here and put on another card and roll number two. And that was 19, this one here. A friend pick. Mm, interesting. And roll number two was friend pick. Friend pick I can do in either of two ways and I guess I'll see what the friend wants to do themselves but I'm either going to basically get my friend to make a suggestion on a book and then potentially lend me that book or I'm going to get a friend to choose a book that is on my unread TBR. I decided to go with a recommendation that was actually given to me about two weeks ago by a couple of friends of mine, Tanya and Alana, both of whom were very insistent that I should read Gideon in the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, I think is how you say her name. So this is another book that I don't really know a huge amount about. I know that there is a female-female romance. I know that it is sci-fi slash fantasy. I know that it is about necromancers and magic and that's basically all that I know. I also know that it is very well beloved by a lot of people. It's a bit divisive, not everyone loves it, but a lot of people really, really enjoy it. And these two friends in particular absolutely loved it and insisted that I really needed to read it. And so now I have a perfect opportunity. Pop another one down and roll number three. Oh, this time it is 
11. So up to roll number 3 and we've had no 1s and no 20s. So that's interesting. I wonder if we'll get any 5 star prediction. Hmm. Roll number 3 came up with 5 star prediction. So a book that I think that I will love and give 5 stars to. So for this one I have chosen The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Anyone that has watched my end of the year tag I will link that below you would know that I think I'm going to love this book. I absolutely loved The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which is one of her standalone books that um, I read earlier in the year. And I'm just really excited. I've heard great things about this book. I don't know, again, a huge amount about this book, but I know that it is young adult. I think it's urban fantasy. And yeah, it sounds really interesting and really great. Quite a few different booktubers really enjoy this one. Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. I believe this is her favourite series of all time. And I think that we have quite similar tastes when it comes to fantasy. So I'm very excited to read this book. All right. And another card on number 11. And roll number four is a three. An ebook recommendation. Roll number four, and we have ebook recommendation. So, what that means is that the Kobo publishing house, I assume that's who they are anyway, <laughs> the people that make Kobo um, put together based on the books that you have downloaded from them a list of a bunch of different books that they recommend for you. So, I will go through that now and choose a book that looks interesting from that recommendations list. So, okay. So, here we have the recommended list so I'm just going to hit on that and then I'm just going to cycle through and see what I think. Huh. It's recommending Gideon the Ninth to me but we are already reading that. Grown Ups, I actually have that on e on uh, audio but I could, I could go on Marion Keys, that could work. The House of Salt and Sorrow, I've heard that that one's really good. Hmm, that's definitely a maybe. The Hunting Party, I've heard good things about that one as well. I think it's a horror though, which isn't usually my kind of thing. Oh no, Murder Mystery Thriller. Okay, that could be a good one. To Kill a Kingdom. Dark and Romantic Wire Fantasy. For san fans of Sarah J Maas, well, I don't really know if I'm a fan of Sarah J Maas yet. So, well, it could be, it sounds interesting. Hmm... Cryer's Moon, I've heard this one is really great. Sorry, Bone Cryer's Moon, I've heard that and it's really good. That could be a good one. Heart So Fierce and Broken, well, I haven't read the first one yet, so <laughs> probably need to read that one. Whitbird looks quite good as well. I've seen that one around. A Solari Gentle, okay. That's number seven, though. <laughs> Cassandra Clare, definitely not. Stephen King, The Institute. Okay, uh, it looks like... It's not really a horror, more like a thriller. That could work. Another Solari Gentle. It was number three. If I was going to read another Solari Gentle, I'd want to read the next one. Another Solari Gentle. Colour of Magic. I have read of that. See the price. Because I don't like spending a huge amount of money on my e-readers. Uh, purchases. So twelve ninety nine. that's not too bad. House of Salt and Sorrow, 1341, that's not too bad. The Hunting Party, eight ninety nine. that's getting better. Whitbird, fourteen ninety nine. 99 mm, it's probably a bit more than I want to spend. So I think we're going to go for the one of the eight something. Dark and Romantic Wire Fantasy for the fans of Sarah J Mass or The Hunting Party. Author of the guest list. Well, I'm reading the guest list this month. Do you know what? I think this is a good one. Okay, and the book that we ended up going with was The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. So this is another book that I, again, know very little about. I know that it is a thriller mystery uh, written, again, like by Lucy Foley, who is an author that I'm very intrigued by. She wrote The Guest List, which I am going to be starting to read in a few days. So by the time I this goes up, I will have read most of the guest list if not finished it and I'm hoping that I really enjoy it and therefore I'm hoping that I really enjoyed the hunting party but it just looked really interesting and I don't have any thrillers of that nature on there so it seemed like a good opportunity and we are up to roll number five so we'll see how we go. <laughs> 
Whoops. Okay, that doesn't count. And it's a four. So no 20s or 1s again this month. So that's a pretty great start to a new game. And it's set in Australia. Awesome. All right. There you go. There's all my rolls. Phew. No 1s. No 20s either, but no 1s. Roll number 5 was set in Australia. And for this one, I have decided to read Too Much Lip by Melissa Lukashenko. So again, <laughs> I don't know very much about this book either. Seems to be a theme that we're going with for this particular month. But this is the author who wrote Mullumbimbi, which is a book that I read a month or so ago and quite enjoyed. Um, it is a contemporary, I think it's kind of women's fiction type of book, but but it is written by an Australian Aboriginal woman. I believe that she includes um, issues that are relevant to Aboriginal Australians. So that will be really interesting, I think. And yeah, I've heard some great things about this. Not anyone on BookTube. I don't think I've seen anyone talk about it on BookTube, but um, some colleagues of mine at one of the schools I worked at, work at have said that it's a really great book. So I'm excited to read it. Okay, guys. So like I said, if I end up needing to do any punishment roles, I will insert a clip of future mail doing that here. But if not, then you won't have had to watch it and it'll just be me still talking. <laughs> um, and that's the end of roll of reads for this month. So I'm quite excited about my collection that I've got for this month. And of course the two, um, the one that I'll be borrowing off Alana and the one on my e-reader as well. So I think that's a pretty good selection of books. I will definitely be still reading if not actually starting um crescent city by sarah j maas with my friend allison and probably connor and i will do a buddy read as well we usually do one a month we haven't chosen one yet so if we have chosen one by the time this is or just before this is going up then i will put another little uh insert in here to let you know what that is so yeah those are all the books that I will be reading this month, sans funny reads. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of the, these books or if you intend to read any of these books, what you thought of them or what you are excited about or think you'll like about them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.